Can you say anything about how the problem of evil uh, might have constellated itself? I guess we're circling around that a little bit. In, in personal experience in, in the Jungian community in, as years went on, I mean, doesn't it constellate itself right in your own backyard? Yeah, naturally, <laughs> obviously. But <laughs> Jung's awareness of the problem of evil was not, did not spring from there. I, mm -hmm. he, he took very much part in what was happening in the world. Mm -hmm. And he was very, very worried over the First World War, as you can t mm -hmm. take out his memories. And, the second, and he was very terrified of the third one, of a holocaust of our whole culture. He seriously reckoned with that. And via that, the problem of evil has come into mm -hmm. being a major preoccupation. Mm -hmm. While the, the constant mischief and mm -hmm. jealousies and animus, mm -hmm. anima nonsense, that he, that he took more on his stride, you know. Mm -hmm. He didn't take that very tragically. He mm -hmm. just did. Ah, <laughs> are you so infantile? And uh, I and all those pupils I've trained you so long, and they are still just kindergarten. He just cursed it, but it didn't upset him. Mm -hmm. What what you would call the personal shadow of people didn't upset him. He mm -hmm. just grumbled and cursed a bit, but that's not the problem of evil. It's that major evil of mm -hmm. complete destruction which worried him. Mm -hmm. And his real approach to that was the inner work yes. that he did. The yeah. only thing you can do. The only thing you can do. Uh -huh. To confront yourself with it where you are. Mm -hmm. All the rest, all the benevolent, if benevolent preaching would help, mm -hmm. uh, then we would be out of the trouble long ago. Because we, have, we get a lot of benevolent and reasonable preaching, but it doesn't help. So the only place where you can really put the hand on it and deal with it body to, to body, the problem of evil, is in yourself. And there you have to, the hope to change something, but the hope to change the world is a, is a childish illusion. Go and tell Khomeini that he is possessed. Mm -hmm. He can cut your head off for <laughs> it <laughs> as sex. <laughs> Seems uh, almost impossible that enough people in our time would be wise enough or courageous enough to choose the inner way with the problem of evil. It's so tempting to try to be heroic and act, yes, act yes. outwardly. Yes. For example, uh, all over the world, the, the nuclear um, weapons and the mm -hmm. nuclear power yes. that's developing. It makes me want to jump up and, and run out and spend all my time and money to try to stop the, you know, that. Well, you rather soon, than do the end. You'll soon run up against some obscure lobbies where where all your efforts get blocked. Mm -hmm. I I think one should say it aloud. Mm -hmm. One should not be a coward. One should make demonstrations. One should go against it, but mm -hmm. one should not waste all one's energy into it because it doesn't help. Mm -hmm. One should say one's opinion, and that's all. And but for the rest, fight inwardly. Because you see, finally, it's not we who will decide that question. It is the collective unconscious which will decide, or in l religious language, God. Mm -hmm. And if you work on your own problem, then you might get into analysis a politician who has influence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you have done more mm -hmm. than if you had gone in the street with a transparent every day. Mm -hmm. And that, that you get a, an influential politician into your analysis or suddenly interested in Jungian psychology, you can't make. No. You can only work on yourself, and that mm -hmm. is the unconscious. And therefore, you say, if God wants to save the world, he will put certain, call up certain people to, to know certain things. Mm -hmm. We can't do it. Mm -hmm. It happens always as a miracle unexpectedly. But you can go to meet that miracle by working on yourself.